So glad it's Friday. I'm on my lunch break. Yesterday at work, I won. It must have been a lucky day at work yesterday because I won a free bed set for my work, for my job. First time I ever won. I don't, and I never won nothing. My work had a raffling and I uh, my name was picked. And I won a uh, queen size set of the, actually the most, the top tier bed for the company I work for. It's like a $3,000 bed. No big deal. Call my wife and my babe, guess what? She's like, what? I was like, I won bed. She's like, what? I was like, yeah, they drew a name. They drew my name on the raffling and we won a bed. She's like, she was so excited. I got my Switch with me. I brought my Switch. I've been bringing my Switch with me because I've just try been trying to get like as much time as I can with Pokemon. Like, you know, 10 minutes here, 15 minutes there, 20 minutes there. And then, because I really can't play it until like the nighttime. Like when my girl, my daughter's just sleeping, you know, dinner's already been made, you know, everything's already been taken care of. That's when I really get the time to play is really at night after my kids go to sleep. And then I've just been pulling all-nighters. Last weekend, I think I got like a max of like four hours, five hours of sleep. I think last weekend. Thanksgiving's tomorrow. So you know what's going to go down this weekend. Because I got like a little bit more time off. So it's going to go down. I got like 200 something Pokemon caught. Which is pretty good because I'm only, I just now got my fourth badge this morning. My fourth gym badge. I did two of the uh, Titans and I did one of the star, the team star based things. Like I get the frame rate issues and the, and the pop ins and the pop outs. Like I've had some issues. I'll try to post it on this video of, you know, the problems I had. I got kicked out of the game. I think about three times. I've, they just completely logged me out where it said error. And then I had to restart the whole game, start it back up. And like I said, it wasn't that big of a deal. It's not like something that's like crazy frustrating because the game is constantly auto-saving. So it's not like it's ruining my day when it happens. But that's probably the worst thing that's happened. The worst things that's happened to me so far is it's kicked me out completely of the game three times. It's froze up on it froze up on me where I couldn't just do I couldn't do anything. So I had to restart the game and just the frame rate stuff, you know, and then, and then like some of the NPCs in the background, you can see them kind of like stuttering when they walk, they kind of walk like they're just real, it just looks real stiff, real like robotic movements, but it's not, it's not an affecting my gameplay. Like the gameplay is still crazy fun. Like I'm having a great time. It's worth every penny I spent. I'm hearing these people walk, like wanted refunds from Nintendo. No, I don't want any refunds. I'm having a great time with the game. I played Arceus for a little bit. And I do kind of wish the battling was kind of like Arceus. Like, I understand the catching can't be like Arceus because you have to weaken a Pokemon to catch it. You can't just go and catch a Pokemon and then that kind of defeats the whole purpose of catching a strong, rare Pokemon. You have to weaken it up. Make it go to sleep, paralyze it, whatever you got to do, and catch it. I tried the trading. The trading was smooth on it. The, um, what is it called? The Union Circle, I think it's called, where you play with the, with, with a friend or four of your friends or whatever. That was, that's fun too. Some things I don't like about it, like, like I said, you can't chat. I guess there's ways around that you can call your friend or whatever and, and talk like that. But, you know, some things are kind of crappy about it, but it's still fun. Like, and they're probably going to, and this, this game is going to probably have a lot of patches, I think, in the future. I think they're going to patch a lot of things up, fix a lot of things that people are complaining about. The best soundtrack a Pokemon game has ever had in this one. This one is so good. I can't wait to go. I Actually, honestly, I can't wait for the night now. Like, I, I haven't played up, I haven't stayed up and pulled up an all-nighter all on a game since high school and i'm doing that now i'm 34 years old pulling on nighters i don't know there's some people out there that already beat the game already have like you know caught pretty much all the pokemon it's just like i don't know some people are just crazy good at, this, at these kind of games i'm not one of those i like to take my time and travel around look around find things discover stuff 
that's me. I like to adventure off and, and look for stuff. And that's what I've been doing 100% of the time, really, honestly, when I have a, something I want to go do, like a gym battle or go and fight a Titan. On the way there, I always get taken off the path by seeing something really cool in the distance, like a big mountain or like, I don't know. I'm, I, I always just get thrown off and just go a different separate way than I was supposed to go. But yeah, I haven't done really like a review of the game. I don't think I'm not, I don't think I'm a good reviewer of stuff. I think my wife's kind of getting mad at me too, a little bit. She's like, How do you sit there and play that game that long? I'm like, I don't know, babe. I really don't know. I just do it. I'm having a good time. I'm sorry. I try to talk to her about the game. She don't care. I do have one friend that I've been talking to about it and great conversations we're having about it. And that's the that's the buddy I'm trading I'm trading my Pokemon with because he's got Violet, I got Scarlet, so I don't know, man. It's just fun. It's just fun. I'm about to eat this steak though here. This in a is the part I really don't like, and I love the fatty part of steak, but I don't like. Where's the lens at? I don't like that gristle. It's like hard right there. See that line, that squiggle? Yeah, I do not like that part. It's just hard. You can't. It's like you can't. You can't eat it. That's my least favorite part. I love the fat parts though on steak, but this, not this kind of fat. Well. Yeah. Yeah, see, I gotta spit. That's the part I, was, I gotta spit out. And I need a little bit of salt. Yeah. And this is this is a grass fed steak, so like it's always this kind of grass fed steak that has that kind of fat. If I get like regular corn fed ribeyes, corn fed corn fed and not grass fed, then it's like the fat's tender. So, actually sometimes the fat on these are really tender and real good. And I it just you can just eat right through the fat. Dude. The main thing about eating all this meat is like you have to drink a lot of water. Because it's just so hard and like dry going down, you have to stay hydrated. And then sometimes I don't do that. Like I'm, I have the worst hydration habit sometimes. Water is life. Sometimes like I'm one of those people like I'll miss out on water all day long, and I'll try to make up for it at the end of the day and just start chugging bottles and bottles of water just to make up for what I lost during the day. When I just drink a bunch of coffee, like right now today, I was kind of, this whole week I've honestly been neglecting my water intake, which is not smart, especially eating all that meat. Like I don't really, I only eat twice a day. I'm only eating two meals a day, so I'm not like overeating like I used to, but for real, like that's what most people's problem is. It's like eating all these carbs and it causes all this inflammation. Like I love, I know I love not having a bloat in my belly. Sometimes I will, I do get like a little bloat after eating like some a an apple or like some sweet potatoes or something like that. I'll get a little bloat. I had red potatoes last night because if I do carbs, it's gonna be potatoes. And I notice when I do sweet potatoes, I get kind of like, and I'm not trying to be like all like getting all personal and junk, but like. The sweet potatoes kind of make me gassy and like a little bloated. But when I eat red potatoes, which I had last night, there's no bloat. So I think there's something with, the, so there's something to that. Red potatoes are better than sweet potatoes. On the on the gut, red potatoes are better than sweet potatoes. That's why I, made, that's why I eat meat and eggs and like, it's just good on and avocados and stuff like that. Like, it's just good on my stomach. Like. The older I get, like, the more sensitive my stomach feels like. And it's all related to, like, the foods you put in it. So if, like, you're having any kind of issues with your stomach or, like, you're feeling, like, kind of slow or sluggy or just kind of, like, crap, take your carbs out. Take the carbs out. Have some steak. Have some bacon. Have some eggs or whatever. But make sure it's, like, premium. If you're going to do it, do it, like, with some good premium types of food. Like, don't do it with some crappy, like you know, 
dollar. I mean, it probably is better <laughs> than what people, most people eat nowadays. But try to go like as high quality as you possibly can. But if you can't, then you can't. But anything's better than like McDonald's, you know. Just the pizza. It's just the regular American diet is trash. And it's all because of like processed foods, carbohydrates, sugar. Sugar is number one. It makes you feel bad. I put a little bit of honey in my coffee in the morning and I feel bad about doing that. But just a little bit. But you know, good tasting coffee is what I don't know, just makes it's just one of those little pleasures of life. Like I look forward to waking up sometimes just to have coffee. Obviously start my day and, and do my day, but waking up and having a cup of coffee, dude, with a little bit of honey, make it not too sweet, but just sweet enough. Put a little bit of goat milk in there. Put some grass-fed butter, just a little touch. And you got yourself a good day. Put a little, little low than, if you do like a little more than a teaspoon, I understand because sometimes I do get like a little bit, like a teaspoon, a little bit more than a teaspoon of honey in the morning in my coffee. But just enough honey, just enough goat milk, just enough grass-fed butter, and with the dark roast, man. Oh, yeah. I'm gonna have one of those tonight just to stay up a little bit later. Actually, I did that to this coffee this morning. It's not as kind of like, I wish I put a little bit more honey inside this coffee, to be honest with you. It's like, you can see the kind of like the butter, the bubble, butter bubbles, I guess you can call them. Yeah. But it's not sweet. It's good. I mean, Sorry, this was a Joe Rogan cup, and I realized, yo, you're drinking a from a mug with a dude's face on it, dude. It's gotta go. It's gotta go. <laughs> so I'm sorry, Joe. I am sorry, Joe. But I can't be drinking a cup. And I, yeah, I'm the one who bought it. So I can't be. I just realized it. I was like, yo, you're drinking out of a cup with a dude's face on it. Like, what are you doing? Anyway, just wanted to have a little lunch break talk chat, you know. All right, I'm, I gotta go. I'm gonna go back to work. I'm already over here messing around. I'm about to eat this apple real quick, and I'm out. I gotta be All the right. biggest idiot. I went to go freaking rinse my apple off my water. I had it in my lap, and I f had the cap off, and I pinched the the water bottle into my legs, and it looks like I just peed myself. Yep. So now I gotta walk back into work like that, see? <laughs> idiot. Idiot. You idiot. All right, let me wash this apple off. I gotta finish this, I gotta go back to work. My boss is probably like, oh, where is this dude at? I'm in here peeing myself, sir. All right.